so I'm sure most of my friends know what I'm doing right now and I'm sure a lot of you could guess I'm probably studying but basically I've decided I'm gonna do a video on my journey to medical school and I'm about two months out right now from taking my MCAT and this vlog is going to be long and hopefully with a good ending. In about a year from now, I should either get my acceptance, well, a little less than a year, hopefully, I should get my acceptance letters or rejection letters, but I'm praying for acceptance letters. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a video on what this journey looks like for me and the good days and the bad days just so I have documentation of it but right now I just got finished reading my devotional for the night and basically it said you know give grace to yourself the Lord wants us to see ourselves through a grace filled vision like he doesn't want us to be so hard on ourselves that we forget that we're loved by him no matter what happens and I think that's important for me to remember right now is because I'm so hard on myself on a day-to-day -day basis to study or you know what else, what if I fail but I think the Lord just wants to remind me like even if I do fail in my eyes I'm still loved by him so, yeah, that's important for me, and I'll be checking in with you guys. <laughs> well, I said that I would show the good and the bad days. Today is a big day because I have one month until I take my MCAT. Honestly, just saying that out loud makes me want to like puke. But at this point, I'm just excited and I'm ready to get it over with. I'm anxious. Yeah, just ready to say I did it about 30 days oh. <sighs> we are exactly two minutes away from leaving to go take my MCAT and I ooh, I'm nervous It's over. Ooh, I just got home about an hour ago and words can't even describe how happy I am that the test is over. Today I'm starting my personal statement and for those of you that don't know what that is, that's um, basically a 5,400 character statement over why do I want to go to medical school update I'm exactly one sentence in to writing my 5,400 character personal statement and I'm already crying probably because I chose <laughs> probably because I chose to start off by writing about my papa. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, don't, see it, don't see it first. It's okay. Just That's okay. Point. Praise Jesus. That is okay. Okay. 
so proud of you, Lauren. So proud of you. I'm really disappointed. But I've decided I'm still going to apply. The odds are not in my favor at all. But I might as well, right? so badly and I've tried so hard about to submit my application they just read it and proofread it so yes we did we're Let's so proud go. of you we are so proud and we love you cross my love fingers you. well tomorrow is the big day I have my interview with UAMS it starts at 8 30 in the morning and the whole entire thing from orientation to the post interview questions will last until 11.30. Of course she interrupt me my documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Woo. I just finished my interview. It went so good. I am so thankful for the doctors that I had. I mean, they just came into the Zoom and told me to relax and have fun and just pretend like we were having a conversation. And that's exactly what it felt like. It just felt like a conversation. So I think it went amazing. <sighs> so much pressure. I was just twiddling my thumbs before um, our conversation started, but it went so good. So that's the last step of the application process. Wow. Now we wait till February crossing our fingers that we get in but if we don't that's okay and they asked me that too they said if you don't get in what's your plan B and I told them my plan B was to try again um so today is sorry I look a total mess right now just kind of a rainy day but and it's really not this cold outside. Um, I think it's like 55 degrees, but yeah, it was the fir first coat that like, was available. So anyways, besides the point, today is February 21st. And I think based off stalking several people that got into medical school from UAMS years past, I'm thinking I'll find out this week and possibly tomorrow. That's so scary to think about. For the last three weeks, the first thought that's in my mind when I wake up is UAMS. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm just so anxious to know at this point. And I keep praying for peace about it. If I don't get in this time, that's okay. I've come to that conclusion. I'm going to be really bummed, but I'll just try again setting for the MCAT though ugh, that is not what I want to do but sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do to get places that you want to be but yeah I will check back in tomorrow hopefully Maybe now I can talk without crying, but yesterday was a hard day. My eyes are still so red, but I didn't get in. And the letter actually came way later than I was expecting. I made a video a week ago thinking it was gonna come in the next day, but it actually didn't come in until yesterday, which was the 28th. So the very last day of February is when I got it. 
I'm super disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I mean, I just didn't do that good on the MCAT. But I'm gonna have a meeting with someone to discuss my application and hopefully they can point out other weaknesses. The MCAT's clearly an obvious weakness, but I'm sure I have other areas too that I can improve upon. Just really disappointing. I have to take this MCAT again. That's such a bummer, man. On to part two. Just booked my second MCAT for May 27th. Let's go. What's up? Um, a little life update, I guess. <clears throat> I start, well, first things first. I graduate Friday. Today is Monday. I'm so sad, but I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. But literally Monday, so a week from today, I start my new job at the Arkansas Heart Hospital. I'm going to be a patient care partner, so a tech, and I'll work right under a nurse. I'm so excited for that opportunity. I know it's going to be great experience for me in the medical field, and I just, I just can't wait. Um, I love the Arkansas Heart Hospital. It's a good place to be. Um, I take my MCAT in like, what's today? May 2nd? I take that in like three weeks. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready. This time, I'm going to kill it. I'm gonna kill it. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I still have areas that I need to work on. I took a practice test Saturday and I did good. I got a score that I really believe would get me in. Um, I just gotta do it on the real one. And I think I can. Actually, I know I can. I'm ready. I... Yeah, it's going to be a good month. May is full of endings and new beginnings. So, let's get into it. Yeah, like let's get this over with, right? Oh, I want this so bad. I just want to I just want to be a doctor. I just watched a video on my blueprint stuff. It was the second time I've gone through this video. I'm just kind of trying to review things that maybe um, are harder to like stick in my brain. Um, I remember last year I didn't do anything the day before the test, um, but I'm I'm not gonna do that this time. I am gonna study tomorrow, Thursday, just so I can. Hmm, soak up all the information. I'm not going to get on my phone tomorrow night. I'm not going to get on my phone Friday morning. I don't want anything <laughs> interfering with the information that I'm going to put in my brain from here on out. Um, anyways, I got off track, sorry. I just watched a video over um, psychological disorders. And I'm going to see my notes. I just want to be a doctor. So bad. I will be a doctor. And I will do good on this test. Okay. I'm nervous, though. I'm more nervous now than I was to take it. I'm so scared. 
And you gotta hold your hands in front of it like you did last time. Did it say they were ready? Yeah, it was ready. <laughs> I got a 511. <laughs> What's up? So, I feel like it's been forever since I've done a vlog actually talking about updates. After I took that MCAT, I wanted, I just, I wanted to forget about it. I was like, I can't believe I didn't even do a video when I got home talking about how it went. But, I mean, y'all saw the video before this. Praise God, it went good, but I was just really nervous and wanted to forget about it for that month until I found out if I had done good or not. But I'm on here today to talk about my application. I'm going to send off my AMCAS application today. It's going to... Six different schools. I'm not going to list them, but it's going to six different schools. And then I'm also going to do the TMD SAS, which is the Texas. Some of the schools, most of the schools in Texas require a separate application, application service. So I'm going to do that one too and send those to a couple more schools in Texas. But I'm so excited this time and I'm much more hopeful of the future and I think I'm going to get it this time. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just get there. So last Saturday, I actually had my interview with UAMS again. I was not as near as nervous this time as I was last year, but the interview went phenomenal. It went so good. Um, oh, that just reminded me I got to do something. But anyways, the interview went amazing. So now we wait. It's just a waiting game now. Uh, kind of like last year. Ugh. I'm hoping I have the only interview I've had is for UAMS. So I'm hoping I get some more, but We'll wait and see, fingers crossed. We're gonna do it this time. What's up y'all? I'm heading to my family Christmas right now. Um, I just wanted to get on here because today, well yesterday was the first like round of letters that got sent out for UAMS. Not that I'm really expecting to be an early accept, but oh, how good that would be. So I'm getting on here to say it's Saturday morning. So there's a possibility that a letter could be in the mail today, um, but I don't know. It's 11, so the mail obviously hasn't run yet. Going to family Christmas, but we'll check back in when I get home. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. oh my gosh. So, early letters got sent out um, Wednesday for UAMS again. I think I might have one in the mail.
I'm on a conference call. I gotta go. Sorry. Hey, can you hear me? You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> UMS? Yes! UMS? Oh, no. I haven't opened it yet. Are you recording yourself? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is killing us. <laughs> I, I caught the first sentence. Dear uh, Lauren, I take great pleasure in offering you a position in the 2023-2024 entering medical class. <laughs> so proud of you. Much of our reputation is due to exceptional students like you. Congratulations on this great success. We are pleased to have you as a member of our student body. <laughs> White coat order form. 